Hello, this is Dr. Martina, your online sex therapist and sex educator. Netflix did it again. They hit a home run. They really did. They have a new series out that's called How to Build a Sex Room. I'm, I don't know if you heard about it, if you've seen it, but I bench watched it last night and this morning and I can't wait to tell you what I think about it. I love this series. Um, I'm going to watch it again because it's fun. Um, it's educational, it's fun, it's inspirational. They got the right hostess, Melanie Rose, an English woman that is dry and direct. She goes into these stores where she needs to buy certain things in order to create these wonderful sex rooms. And she just blankly, she tells them, I'm building a sex room. And you know, and uh, the clerks, whatever store they're in, quite don't know how to react but they do have a certain reaction that probably a lot of people can relate to so that's really refreshing they keep it normal in this um, in this series they pick um, couples they oh the contractor the contractor that's working with Melanie uh, he really grew on me because in the beginning you know, it was a little typical contractor macho type, but then he just, you know, he also, he stopped her when she came in really blatantly that he needed to put in something. I want, I don't want to spoil it. And he says, whoa, 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 can I just have a minute here and let this settle in, you know, because it is a little overwhelming. She pushes kink on into every room, um, but not to, only to a level where the client can really manage it and she does that quite well she asks them you know what they're into and what they're not into and even then when she's not quite sure if the people know how much kink they really want like this one woman wanted to be a dominatrix she says well I want to be a dominatrix you know I want to be like a dominatrix so she brought her to a pro dom and they watched how Prodom worked with the client and the woman realized right away, she says, oh, no, no, that's in a totally different level than what I thought I wanted to be. So um, all of that is being shown. There are different um, structures of relationships are being shown. You know, gay couple, gay male couple, gay female couple, interracial couple, polyamory. That is being also discussed not much into details but just enough for everybody to have an idea and be educated that there's all kinds of ways to sexually express yourself but ultimately they show couples that and even the polyamory couple couples that love each other and that are really some already are having great sex and they want to spice things up so she brings them to a different level other couples are struggling with their intimacy. They have zero intimacy and they're actually worried about losing their marriage and she helps them. Then there's um, other couples who are kind of like hidden missing each other because they're in different levels of, of sexual desires or expectations or sexual freedom, definitely. And they're showing that too. And they're showing how people become vulnerable and push themselves and actually um, ultimately, you can see at the end, you just wish the camera would stay there and show us how they really find each other, how they find that joy in that sex room. I mean, it's super exciting. So I encourage you to watch it. I encourage you to keep your judgment to yourself and just keep an open mind and open heart and see if you can find yourself in any of these people. Maybe in the 50-year-old woman, that's the only person where they're showing is a single woman. I'm so glad they added that a 50-year-old woman who's single, got divorced after 22 years of marriage with blah sex and is now enjoying casual sex to the limits, to her limits and a little further. So um, it's, it's absolutely wonderful, it's exciting. Like I said, I'm gonna watch it again. And what I would love for you to do is at the end of this video, click on the video that I did put together last week because it talks about something about spicing up your sex life. And it's, I'm mentioning the tool of a yes, no, maybe list. And that can definitely get the conversation going. And if you need help to keep the conversation going or 
how to start a conversation with your partner if you're single how to how can you get to the point where you can make sex a priority again and what can you put in in that huge spectrum from from tiny little kink to big big uh, kinky kinky how you can find your slice of desire in that spectrum i can help you with that so connect with me and enjoy the series. I will. I'll talk to you next week.